In this video I'm going to show my oldest computer. It's an old Incoterm SPD 10-20. I would guess close to 25 years before this computer has been turned on. These are circuit boards for that computer. It's been a while since I've looked at these. It's all 7400 logic for the most part. I believe that this is the UART. And I think the strappings down here may have been for the baud rates. This is the magnetic core memory. It's the magnetic core driver board. one of the video boards. It's a secondary video board, just a spare. This is part of the CPU. This is a disk drive controller board. It's another part of the CPU. Oops, I believe this is the printer port. This is just a spare set. These are some of the floppies for it. I believe this is a platter out of an old 20 meg hard drive. These diskettes are hard sectored. See all the holes around here? And an index hole here. These floppies were single sided. I would cut some of the notches in these and actually run them on the flip side. But the drives themselves were single sided. So here's the disk drive for it. Looks like I had left a couple of floppies in here. You look in good shape. This is your power switch here, boot, bright protection, busy light if there's a fault. This so originally was a uh, green case. I remember painting this when I was a kid. Kind of wish I hadn't done it now. Be nice to see this in the original colors. Let's look at inside of the disk drive. Here's the main controller board. You can see the two disk drives. To pull these out of here and we'll take a look at their condition. Clean the heads, check the belts. If everything looks good, we'll turn them on, see if everything works fine. You can see how the disc controller board just lifts up. And then there's a couple of thumb screws that lock it into place. Very nice for servicing. Down in here is the power supply. Here we have the two disc drives removed. Give you an idea how big these are. You can see down here there's a uh, worm drive that moves the head. One of the problems with these drives I remember is it would not hit the limit switches or it miss the limit switches and drive these heads into the hard stops and then they would bind up and then the head would no longer move and you'd have to go in and break them apart. Looks like the belts are fine on both of them. Everything appears to be in good tension. I think we'll just do a good cleaning, a little bit of lubrication on some of the mech, and we'll reassemble. Down here we can see the single head. You can really see the worm gear now. It's 
just hooked to a little motor drives the head in and out everything looks real good with this drive I've already gone ahead and cleaned the heads this one's ready to go back in we're gonna go ahead and turn on the power supply here Hopefully the fan will start turning nice who knows how long since that fan has spun <laughs> okay the units back together be ready to turn it on here. It's got a busy light on drive one. That two is off. Don't think without the uh, computer connected, we're going to be able to boot. No floppies in there yet. Okay. Let's see about getting the computer pulled out.